U.S. officials are saying that Russia's move towards Kiev has been stalled. This is all about that convoy heading towards Ukraine's capital city. Well, Trey Yingst is there. What's the latest on this, please, Trey? Yeah, this could be some positive news for the Ukrainians as they look to dig their heels in in the capital of Kyiv and ultimately fight back against the Russian forces. Maxar Technology satellite images show this convoy is around 40 miles long and it was approaching the capital city of Kyiv. U.S. officials do believe it's stalled for now. Logistics problems for those Russian troops that are now operating deep into Ukrainian territory. This comes as sirens continue to sound across the country today. We know in the second largest city of Kharkiv, Kyiv, two cruise missiles slammed into a public square, killing a number of people. The uh, Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, calling this a war crime and demanding accountability for what took place. We saw civilians today also in the capital as they look to go underground and hide from these Russian air campaigns and also, if they can, flee the city. Take a look. A familiar scene unfolds in the Ukrainian capital. Uri Gretsenko says goodbye to his daughter and granddaughter. They're evacuating to the city of Lviv, near the Polish border. We need to leave our homes to make our children safe. I never thought it would be like that. It's not a joke, but hell. Like thousands of Ukrainian men, Uri will stay and fight as the Russian invasion continues. My family, my daughter and granddaughter are leaving. I'm staying as I'm in the territorial defense. People here are running out of time. There's a real understanding that Russian forces could surround the city in a matter of days. So the central train station in Kyiv is a major evacuation point for people looking to go west. Across the Ukrainian capital, there are soldiers in the streets. They've set up checkpoints using everything they can, from potted plants to pianos to trucks. They are trying to slow down this Russian offensive and ultimately be able to put up a fight. Back to you. All right, Trey Yinks, thank you very much indeed.